Hi everyone! May bagong lesson na naman tayo. That is grade 6 math, quarter 2, module 1. Ayan, nasa quarter 2 na tayo. That is the concept of ratio and proportion. First, i-define muna natin kung ano yung ratio. So, ratio, the relationship that exists between the size, number, or amounts of two things and that is often represented by two numbers. It is a way of comparing two or more quantities having the same units. So, ito yung pag-compare natin sa mga quantities na merong magkaparehong units. Iko-compare natin sila sa kanilang size, sa kanilang number, sa kanilang amount, gamit ang pag-represent ng dalawang number. Okay, so paano natin gagawin ang ratio? Ratio can be written in three ways. So, paano natin siya isusulat? Meron tayong word form. Ang word form natin is A is to B. Ang colon form, A is to B. So, colon tayo dito. And then, ang fraction form is A over B. Okay, so let's try to analyze this given sets of pictures. So, meron tayong dalawang triangle at tatlong square. So, give the ratio of what is being asked in three ways. So, ibibigay natin ang kanilang ratio sa tatlong pamamaraan. So, meron tayong word form, colon form, at fraction form. Okay, number one. Number of triangle to number of squares. So, ilan yung number ng triangle? Isa, dalawa. Ilan yung square? Isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, ibig sabihin, ang number ng triangle is 2. So, that is word form tayo ha. 2 is 2. Ilan yung square natin? 1, 2, 3. 3. So, ibig sabihin, 2 is 2, 3. Okay, sa so colon form naman, paano natin siya isusulat? 2 is 2, 3. Okay, ito yung colon ha. So, 2 is 2, 3. Sa fraction naman, ano yung isusulat natin? 2 over 3. Okay, so ganyan lang siya kadali. 2 is to 3 ang word form, colon form, and then fraction form. Okay, second naman. Number of triangle to total number of triangle and square. So, number of triangle again is 2. So, isulat natin dito. 2 is 2. Total number of triangle and square. So, ibig sabihin, i-add natin ang number ni triangle at ni square. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 2 is 2, 5. And then, sa column form, 2 is 2, 5. At ang ating fraction form is 2 over 5. Ayan. So, sa number 3 naman tayo. Number of squares to total number of triangle and squares. So, number of squares, ilang squares? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 ang isulat natin dito. 3 is 2. Total number of triangle and squares. So, ilan ang triangle at square? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 is 2. Uh, 3 is to 5. Ayan, so 3 is to 5 ang number of squares to total number of triangle and squares. Sa so, colon form naman, 3 is to 5. And then ang fraction form, 3 over 5. O, diba? So ganito lang kadali mag-analyze ng uh, mga pictures gamit ang tatlong paraan ng ratio natin. So that is word form, colon form, at fraction form. So, ngayon, pag-aaralan pa natin siya gamit ang mga iba't ibang examples. So, ngayon, pag-aaralan pa natin itong mga example natin dito. Write the ratio of the following in three ways. So, number one, six short bond papers and ten long bond papers. So, ano siya in word form? Six is to ten. So, ito yung word form natin. Six is to ten. Ano naman siya sa colon form? 6 is to 10. And then, sa fraction form, 6 over 10. Ayan. So, ganyan lang siya kadali. Number 2. 2 girls for every 6 cups of rice. So, ibigay natin ang ratio ng girls to rice. Okay. So, ang word form, 2 is to 6. Okay. So, 2 is to 6. And then, ang column form, 2 is to 6. Ang fraction form, 
2 over 6. And then number 3, 3 cups of sugar for every 5 cups of flour. Okay, so sugar is to flour tayo. So 3 cups is to 5 cups. So 3, ang word form natin, 3 is to 5. Kita pa ba sa baba? Okay. So, 3 is to 5. Ang colon form, 3 is to 5. And then, ang fraction form, 3 over 5. Ayan. So, ganyan lang kadali. Um, magsulat ng ratio sa tatlong paraan. So, word form, colon form, and fraction form. That's all for today's video, guys. Sana may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson for today. See you in our next lesson. Bye!